Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the automated crafting plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which adds this cool feature to droppers where you can fill it with ingredients and it will produce the item which is on the side in an item frame, as you can see here. We have a couple of examples, and what I've done is added a lever on each dropper to turn them on and off, which is a cool feature. So if we were to look inside of this one, it's got some diamonds. Obviously, we need some sticks as well to be able to create a diamond shovel. So let's go ahead and pop some sticks in there. There we go. And if we quickly turn it on and off, it will produce one diamond shovel. There we go. Or if we were to just leave it on completely, like so, it's going to continuously produce diamond shovels until it runs out of ingredients. So as you can see, if we look inside, all of the ingredients are going down as it's creating these diamond shovels and we're just getting an infinite amount pretty much. So this one just has diamonds in and if we flip it on we're going to get loads of diamond blocks until this one runs out. So that's kind of what the plugin does. It would be a really awesome donator feature I think. Um, it's a very awesome plugin. Obviously you can use a permission node to allow certain people to use this, certain people not. But if we want to create it ourselves, all we need to do is pop down the dropper. So let's do two examples and then hold shift and put an item frame on the side. It doesn't matter which side um, and then put whatever item you want to be created in the item frame. And it will pop up with a message saying auto crafting has accepted the recipe. So as soon as you put some items inside the ingredients, it's going to start creating them already, uh, which is why it's good to have something like a lever or some other redstone form to control how many it produces. So as you can see, it is producing a lot here. You can switch it on and off. Um, you could use a button if you wanted, uh, but this is pretty much how it works. So you might be worried about how much lag this produces if loads of droppers are producing loads of different items at once or in the same place so if we go ahead and just place a chest in front of them what's going to happen is the items are going to go inside the chest rather than just spread around on the floor so let's go and fill these back up with some gold and then we can turn them back on and what we're going to see is the chest start filling up with the items the items being used but the items not going around on the floor creating lag um, which is really awesome. So this is another cool feature of this plugin um, But overall, it's just a really fantastic plugin um, Very small very lightweight and just a neat little thing to add to your server So here we are on the spigot page and as you can see it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft And it works on all these versions you can see there's lots of good pictures and information on how it actually works And as you can see there's a compatible plugin so you can use custom crafting um, which is really awesome to do that. But yeah, that is the plugin. As I said, it's very small and simple, but really awesome nonetheless. And if you want a server to host it on, check out serverminder.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.